Hey, welcome back everybody. Today, uh, as promised, I just want to do a little video on reticulum. Ret reticulum. Tickle my reticulum is what I call it at home, but um, that's another story. So, be as it may, reticulum uh, a network and um, so I don't know, uh, you know, I'm not an expert here. Uh, I'm just going to show you what, what I know so far. And, you know, it's, it's fairly similar to, um, uh, you know, uh, Mestastic. I can um, talk to somebody uh, and send a little message from one. And we can see that um, the message will pop up on this side. And I can read it and I can reply to it. So that's the, you know, it implemented. But uh, let me quickly show you what I mean by that on um, the, uh, uh, um, on, 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 you know, the theory behind all of this. Okay, so the theory behind it is you've got this reticulum network um, um, and, um, or the RNS network that, um, you know, it, and, and uh, you've got software and there's many, you know, ver uh, 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 pieces of software that can use this RNS reticulum network to communicate. So RNS is sort of a network and a network stack. And then you've got applications. And in this case, I'm showing sideband, which is a little application that you can download. But you have to sideload it. Um, you know, they don't put these kind of applications on the App Store uh, because they are anti anti, uh, you know, um, that, that kind of thing. So that's why some people call it the hacker network. But in any case, you have to sideload something like sideband onto a, 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 a piece of software, like a sideband onto a cell phone. Um, here's an Android phone. And then si sideband has the capability to use the RNS network. And it can talk from one to the other. Uh, uh, you know, and you can send messages. There are other pieces of software there's the, you know, uh, 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 various other chat f uh, things. And ver and, but the main concept here is it's software that can use the RNS of a, a, a reticulum network to communicate. And everything that goes is encrypted. So, you know, in this example, you know, Sideband uses the built-in network adapter to talk to over the Internet to the other cell phone and into Sideband. So that's one way you can do it. The other way you can do it, you can also add what's known as R nodes. Now, an R node is a um, something like uh, um, you know a LoRa, and in this case, it's two. You know, it's a Haltec V3 <clears throat> that you can bind Bluetooth to the phone, and then you can send a message, uh, you know, from sideband to the R node deliver the data via LoRa. So that allows you to turn off the internet. So in this case, you can communicate from this cell phone to that cell phone using LoRa uh, or, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the LoRa network. So it does RNS over LoRa um, or LoRa over RNS, whichever way it is. But in any case, um, so something like a, a Haltech uh, a V3 over here, um, the difference between this and Meshtastic is, you know, if you run Meshtastic, you install the application on the, um, the, the Haltech, the whole Meshtastic application. And nowadays, even the web interface all goes onto the Haltech V3 uh, and it, it becomes a standalone little, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, piece of software as well as communication all in one because it's got an ESP32 uh, uh, processor in there. Um, Reticulum says no, um, the software still lives somewhere else. Once you put the, the, the Reticulum or R node firmware onto the Haltech V3, it just becomes an interface, a network interface that um, you can com ha communicate. So it doesn't do much beyond, um, you know, send and receive messages. The whole application does not live on the R node. You still need an application on the side, like in this case, sideband. So sideband would use Bluetooth to talk to the R node, in this case, the Altec V3, 
which will use LoRa to send it to the other uh, Haltech V3, will use Bluetooth to send it into the sideband app in, in this case, and then um, uh, uh, the message is complete. So that's sort of how it works uh, uh, with um, Reticulum. These nodes are not full nodes, they become interfaces that you can use, and they, it can use Bluetooth interfaces, serial interfaces, built-in interfaces. There's a lot of interfaces that, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, application like Sideband or whatever uh, RNS compliant application you use, uh, um, you know, they can use all of these interfaces and then use R node, in this case, uh, uh, we'll use R nodes on these two. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so here in this example, I've got uh, two uh, Heltec V3s that's uh, been flashed with um, reticulum. And let me show you quickly how to flash these. Um, it's very su simple uh, to, reflect, uh, to flash these. Um, and that goes to the... Okay, you uh, basically go to uh, this uh, site, and I'll put the the, the um, link on 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 in, in, you know on the screen. So you go to the site, and it's called the R Node Flasher. And what you have there is here's the various uh, pieces of hardware they support. They Haltex, they got the V2, V3, and the T114, and a bunch of Lilygo stuff. And then uh, even a rack uh, 60, uh, 4631, which is a standard, um, um, you know, uh, rack. So, um, so you select just, uh, you know, whatever your, your model is, uh, uh, you know, I'll take V3. Um, are you 433 megahertz or are you 915? Then here's the actual file. You download this file and you choose the file. You... Uh, actually flash it, then you provision it, and then you set the firmware hash, you do these three things, and that really takes five minutes. After you flashed it and you want to reflash it back to Mestastic, you just go to the Mestastic site and flash Mestastic back onto the, onto the, uh, um, you know, the Altec V3, and it goes back to being a, a Mestastic node. Or if you want to try this, you come here and you flash your your little uh, Haltech V3 and turn it into an R node. So that, that totally works. You can go in between the two. Um, so, um, well, be as it may, what you end up with is um, this little uh, node. And let me see if I can get that going properly. This little node, um, you know, that is now a R node. And you can see it says R node over there. So, um, Pressing this button turns the um, uh, Bluetooth, and you'll see this little Bluetooth sign over there, turns it on and off. So uh, you have to keep it in for five seconds, and then it will go into pairing mode. So your next step would be to open up your uh, a cell phone and, uh, you know, use Bluetooth and pair to um, this. And it will show a little pin code over here, and it's paired. And once it's paired, then um, uh, you can open Sideband, which is this application. You'll see Sideband, I have it set up that once it uh, uh, activates, you see starting R node, and once it activates this R node, you will see some things change, and then you'll see that little display, and that means this uh, device is now commu uh, uh, connected to this R node. So, um, if I look at that specifically, and let me just see if I can get uh, uh, us to zoom on the right thing, so or, or to get the right thing in 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 uh, in the frame. So um, you know, you basically go into hardware, and uh, then you would select R node, and the, the most important part here is. To set these radio options, and you have full control over here. And I played a little bit with this. I know too little about it, but I've got mine set to 915 megahertz, 125 kilohertz bandwidth, 22 TX power. Yeah, these are the values I use. And then I also set that uh, uh, control the display, connect via Bluetooth, 
and uh, Bluetooth device is required. So um, if um, your, your, you don't use a Haltech V3 and you don't have a button, you can actually plug a serial cable or a OTG cable between the two and uh, you can enable Bluetooth and you can start pairing mode on this device with those buttons. But that, that's basically it. So it's now started up. And um, if we uh, look at conversations, uh, it's blank. So I'm going to go into this phone and let me just get into there. I am going to, on this phone, I'm going to look at what's known as the announcement stream. And um, I'm going to remove this announcement. So um, this announcement stream is blank. So, um, oh, let's do this quickly. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi completely. So um, there's no, um, oh, goodness. there's no uh, a Wi-Fi enabled. You'll see that the Wi-Fi is gone, right? Uh, Wi-Fi is gone. So as in the picture, we're now purely communicating between these two over LoRa. So um, if I uh, go in here and I hit this little button, that's called the announcement. So I'm announcing myself over the LoRa network, and you'll see a little flash over here. And if you look closely on the display over here, you can actually see little blimps over there in the graph of uh, uh, you know this uh, node and, and the other node that um, something's happened. So this guy has now announced that he's on the network. This guy can see him. And if I look at it, I can look at the RSSI. I can look at the signal to noise ratio and say, oh, that's cool. Let's uh, uh, talk to this guy. And now I can send a message like, hi. And um, so very much like Mestastic, it now supports, and you can see it arriving on the other phone, we can talk uh, chat. But uh, one advantage that, the, the biggest advantage that this network does have is it can send more than chat. And so that means I can click the attach over here and um, I can attach images or files. So I could say, well, attach an image for me and um, I'm just gonna go into my camera over here and I'm gonna take an image and I'm gonna say, send that. So um, there's a picture. It's uh, attaching that image <clears throat> and it's sending it to this node. And you can see that it's 82% done. And while it's doing that, you can see the graph on here go, you know, up, down, up, down. There's a lot of data being transferred. So um, it's now sending this picture and you can see it arrived on this side. It's now sent a picture from here to here. It's not just chat. It's an actual picture that's now been sent between the two. Okay. Or I could say, well, attached from me, Oops, um, sorry, I'm looking at the details there. I could say, attach for me a file. And, um, you know, I can, uh, any file, you know, downloads, let's attach a configuration file and send that, or a JSON file. And in this case, on this side, we will see, we'll see again the, the graph jump up and down. And here, the file has arrived, and I can actually um, save the attachment. So um, that way I can communicate um, real data. It's not just chat, it's actual data being communicated. So hopefully that makes sense. You know, that's where I am in this. I, I know if you turn on why, you know, there's, there's a lot more you can do here. There's maps, you know, it has maps and you can set your location and you can do a lot of those kind of things and you can... Uh, do telemetry and you can do all sorts of things but you know that, those are a little bit more advanced at the moment but that's where we are um, that's what I know so far about it so again um, you know the steps are just uh, side load something or use another piece of software I think sideband you can install on Windows or Linux or Mac or, or, or whatever um, and um, then you can use that uh, you can bind it Bluetooth to a R node like this, or serial, or via USB cable, however you want to do it. And then this LoRa device can talk to this LoRa device and transfer the data um, via LoRa. Uh, you saw me turn off the Wi-Fi, so this data totally just went via 
you know, you know the network, not via um, uh, via LoRa, not via the the internet or or whatever. So hopefully that makes sense. That's my little video on uh, re reticulum. Um, so um, yeah, until next time. Thank you.